Okay, YouTubers, it's um, December, what is today, the 10th, and it's about 610. I live in Southern California, and I'm going to give you a tour of my backyard. I do a lot of work out here, so. That's a, uh-oh, phone going dead. That's a grapefruit um, vine that you see right there. Bunch of rose bushes. This leads to a fire pit. It's my pool. Um, I'm in my backyard always trying to improve it. I want you to stay tuned. I'm going to redo this table with, um, I don't know, I was thinking maybe like a laminate, a laminate tile, something that can wipe down, be waterproof. These are some succulent pots that I've done. That's one. My beautiful pool. I have, um, I don't know what those are called. They're some type of um, tropical. I'm going to put a retaining wall there. So it's going to look really nice when I'm done. Here's another succulent um, pot that I've done. It's kind of like a rock. I don't know if you can see the turtle. It's my little turtle I bought. Cute my dog barking. It's a couple of palms. I have a bunch of palms. I try to keep my palms on this side of the pool. That's kind of like the theme for this side. But then on the other side, I want to have florals and I want to have, um, these are called um, simplicity roses. I planted three on this side and two over here. Probably going to get one more to balance it off. And in that corner, um, straight ahead, um, I want to put some other type of banana trees. That's where we, that's our parking lot for our kids, um, their bikes and stuff. That's our fire pit. This is a rose bush. Um, needs to be pruned. Haven't done it yet. This is rosemary. I'm going to give you a, a big view of the whole thing. There's another rose bush, rose bush, my ivy. I just put down some bark right there. That looks really pretty. I'm thinking about a lighthouse right there. I have I found this um, lighthouse that was really cool um, at Home Depot, and it has um, solar power in it. I planted some bulbs there, so I didn't put any bark down. So we'll see what comes up before I put down bark. Another rose bush. This is my key lime tree. This is a mysterious lemon tree, and I know it's a lemon because the leaves are really fragrant of some type of lemon. Um, it's either a Meyer lemon, but it kind of, I don't know. We'll see. This was just left here at this house when we purchased it. It's like a little bike. I think it's a fountain. It's another tree. Another tree. I'm probably going to move that one. I have... Um, bird of paradise right there that died so I'm trying to rescue them um, I'm watering them right now this big tree I really want to get rid of it's very nice and shady but it gets a lot of beetles and it gets this cottony pollen that just oh look at the root that's growing from this tree crazy huh okay so over here, I just have some random little bush to the right. And then right here are all my jalapeno peppers. We just harvested a bunch of jalapeno peppers. But just so you can see, there's a few right there. I have habaneros. Three different jalapeno peppers. Um, down here, I have tomatoes. They're actually not turning red. I don't know if I don't have enough sunshine. The leaves look dry. Something's going on, but we'll see. Bell pepper eggplant down there. Kind of all crammed together. We'll see what happens. That's my avocado tree. It's a Haas avocado tree. I'm not really sure where I'm going to plant it, so it's still in the pot. This area, as you can see, hasn't really been um, manicured. This is some random bush. It's actually really pretty in the summer. This, all this area right here is empty. So, dead spot right there that I'm going to put the kids' playground in. Um, that's about it. My backyard is really big. Um, I have a lot of different ideas. I don't know what I'm going to do. I know I'm going to put the playground over there, but this is, this is it.
final little really big backyard. I, I love it. It's a blessing. It really is. I have my hammock. My kids, they push each other. I'm waiting for... I don't want to take a visit to the hospital, but I'm waiting to whoop somebody if they fall because I'm telling you. So keep me updated because I do plenty of things to my backyard. So it's always something different. And just kind of um, let me know what your comments are, what you think. I want some stuff growing on that back gate, like um, some type of floral ivy, something pretty. Because that gate is just a big eyesore. So if you have any comments or ideas, let me know. Thanks a lot, YouTubers.